Hi, this is Gemma Smith, uh, real estate with Gemma Smith, selling Silicon Valley since 1987. And in this segment, we're going to be discussing uh, estate planning. And I have with me today, uh, Richard Dayton, which likes to be called Rich. He's the founder of Dayton Law Firm in San Jose and has been practicing since 1998. Is that correct? That's correct. Beautiful. You know, I... Every, what I love about Rich is that he is sensitive to the emotional nature of his profession, which leads to an approach marked by understanding and compassion. He listens closely to his client's specific concerns and wishes, then taps into his extensive expertise to deliver solutions that are customized to each individual's particular needs. So Rich, um, share with us what are the two to three main points that our uh, individuals should be aware of when it comes to estate planning? Well, there are two critical things that if they get nothing else out of this discussion that they get, and that is make sure you have a financial power of attorney. Even if you've been married for 50 years, you're not legally capable of signing someone else's names on financial documents. And that power of attorney will do that. Make sure you have an advanced healthcare directive. Again, I don't care how long you've been married, you do not have the right to make medical decisions for your spouse or anyone else without an advanced healthcare directive. Now that's the law as opposed to what you might get away with. The third thing is if you own real estate in California, you're going to want to avoid the high cost of probate. Probate is very expensive. Currently, it's going to take around 18 months due to the COVID issues and the court cutbacks. Wow. All of that can be, well, 99% of it can be avoided by having a revocable living trust. Um, there's a lot of uh, misconception out there that when you die, everything's automatically going to go to your spouse or automatically right. going to go to your kids. And to some extent, that's true. But uh, it's going to go through the high cost and delays of probate and is not necessarily all going to go to your spouse. Um, and so it's really critical to talk to someone to find that out, what exactly it is. Uh, but power of attorney, healthcare directive are critical for everyone, even if you're over 18, uh, to avoid a very expensive and time-consuming conservatorship. Then um, if you don't own real estate, a simple will will suffice. Uh, because if, there's other ways of avoiding probate uh, if you don't own real estate. But if you own real estate, you're going to want that trust. Uh, there are some other options. They're not so good, but there are some other options. Um, okay. And the, the cost of probate, and the reason you want to avoid it is a million-dollar home with a $900,000 mortgage on it is still a million-dollar probate. That's upwards to forty-eight thousand dollars worth of cost to transfer it to the people you want it to go to. Wow! Of which ninety-nine percent of that can be avoided. Um, so those are the three key things that I would think everybody wants uh, to get out of this. Now, what style you need, what other options you want, uh, all come into why we spend two hours on an initial meeting figuring out what it is you want to accomplish. Exactly. Exactly. Well, you know, in this short segment and talking about estate and planning, uh, you informed us with three valuable tools that need to be um, acted upon by every individual. And we welcome um, our community to reach out to you. Um, we'll definitely will provide uh, your information, name, uh, phone number, and email for those who have joined us today to listen to your words and you know want more specific information regarding their needs and their concerns. And I will definitely encourage everyone to continue on with our segmentation. This is just a briefing in regards to estate planning. Rich, you um, just. You're, you gave us some nuggets of information right now. So we ask uh, all our audience to continue to join us, to listen and continue to hear what Rich has to say. So I know I'm thoroughly going to enjoy our segmentation and I look forward to hearing more because you are just a wealth of knowledge since 19, I mean, you, you've been in the industry as long as I've been in the industry <laughs> or longer, I should say, you know, and you just have so much to share. So thank you so much, Rich, for joining us in this segmentation of estate planning with uh, real estate, all things real estate with Gemma Smith. As always, I want everyone to continue to stay safe and healthy and do look uh, for the information regarding Rich if you would like to connect with him uh, directly. As always, stay safe and healthy. This is Gemma Smith, all things real estate. I'll see you soon.